Hello and welcome to another on-demand migration instructional video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to migrate SharePoint data from one tenant to another. So with the new user interface, we'll start in the Projects view, then we'll select SharePoint. You'll be greeted with the SharePoint Migration Project Dashboard, in which case you follow the Getting Started selections, hence starting with Configure Project. And this asks you to specify a default target user, which is the default site collection owner in case there is no migrated user associated with that site collection that has been matched or migrated. For demo purposes, we'll just use the admin or global administrator account in the target. Next, just like any other migration workflow, we have to discover what can be migrated. So we'll select the Discover Site Collections option. In the Discovery Task Wizard for this is very simple. We can schedule it or run it now, or rename it on the summary screen and click Finish. As usual, there's a green notification at the top of the screen that allows you to view details of the currently running tasks or the newly generated task. So we'll wait for that discovery to complete. Once it completes, you can head back to the dashboard and keep following the getting started workflow, but essentially you can click on the site collections tab and run everything from there. And here's the familiar user interface layout for all discovered objects. And here it's entirely possible to do what you would do in a user matching scenario if you need to map from a file so that the site is named something different in the target or match it to something that's named entirely different in the target already. You can do that using the map from file function. But for demo purposes, we'll select the operations site collection and match it to the target. The matching wizard is indeed very simple as well. It will search for a site collection with the same name in the target. And if one does not exist, it will flag it for creation upon migration. So we will run this matching task and wait for it to complete using the View Details button or Tasks tab. Once the matching is complete and verified, you can select the matched operation site collection and select Migrate. And then the Migration Task Wizard for a site collection, you have to provide the default account to map users to if the matching user accounts can't be found in the target. So if there are users that are associated with this site collection that are not migrated yet, it will at the very least grant this user the access. You can include the site structure and content, which is essentially the full hierarchy and all the content within it. You can also choose to clear the existing site collections involved from the target before starting the migration. So for example, if there is a pre-existing site collection called operations in the target that has old stale data of essentially the same site collection, but you want to bring over the most up-to-date data, this would be a good scenario to select that option. However, clearing of group site collections is not supported. And here you have some version options. You can migrate the most recent versions. You can migrate with the version history. But if you do migrate with version history, it'll significantly increase the amount of time it takes to migrate this data. And as per usual, we have our regular scheduling options and the summary screen. So we'll run this task and watch the completion. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Quest On Demand or to access a free trial, please visit us online.